one of my favorite things that we do every year at BC Tech is to bring everybody together for the Technology Impact Awards. So uh, applications are open now and they will close on the 13th of May. And I want to tell you about one award in particular where we're taking a really special approach. We have completely revamped our approach to Startup of the Year with the strong support of our sponsor, Microsoft. We're so grateful for their support for this approach. This year, we will be naming 10 finalists for Startup of the Year at the finalist event, which is going to be held in June. And then we will whittle that list of 10 in September down to a more manageable list of finalists at a live pitch night, Dragon's Den style, where we will have those 10 finalists pitch in front of a packed live audience and some amazing judges. The judges will be giving feedback to the companies on the night live, which will help all of them to improve their storytelling. And we'll be announcing the shorter list of finalists that will be going through to the TIA show. And at the TIA show, we will announce the winner and present them not only with their award, but with a $10,000 check that we hope will also help to fuel their growth. So we need your help to amplify this message to all the amazing tech startups in BC. So we're gonna drop our social media links for this award into the chat. Uh, and we would ask you to grab those posts and share the news far and wide. I know how many exciting tech startups there are in BC, and I want to celebrate them big time this year. On the talent side of things, you told us earlier how much of a challenge it is for uh, in the sector. And I want to make sure that I've told you some of the practical work we're doing on the ground to increase the talent supply in BC. So uh, we've been thrilled to help over 200 British Columbians reskill for jobs in tech through our BC reskilling programs. Most recently, we had a cohort of 15 Indigenous participants graduate from the Jelly Academy Digital Marketing Bootcamp. Uh, they were able to attend virtually from around the province. We had folks from Kamloops, Victoria, and Port Hardy. Here's what a couple of them had to say. Uh, Joshua, I got a scholarship to attend and was so glad I applied. They really help Indigenous individuals learn and excel. I feel a lot more confident now and finally have a pathway to start working in the field. And Heather, the level of discipline you gain through rapid reskilling can really turn you into a high-performing professional. I surprised myself with what I was able to accomplish in a short amount of time. Well, we're, we're impre impressed and surprised by the success of this program. So thank you, Joshua. Thank you, Heather. Thank you to our partner, Jelly Marketing. And please pass the word uh, to anyone that you think might be interested in participating in these uh, courses. We're so thrilled with the impact of the program that we're funding another 20 seats this spring for more Indigenous talent to reskill to get jobs in the tech sector. A big thank you to the partners that make this program possible. There's some amazing tech anchors out there that are giving back to support the next generation and we're grateful for their support. Well, another amazing program at BC Tech is our internship program where we're helping diverse talent land internships with our members. So if you know somebody uh, who might be looking for a job in tech, have them check out the listings on our job board. We'll drop the link in the chat. And if you have a role you want to fill, reach out to our internship team here at BC Tech because we're committed to sending you qualified candidates within 24 hours. So get in touch. We can help you source talent. Uh, our What Works series is our educational event, and April was a really busy month. So on the 7th of April, we had Greg Smith from Thinkific join our monthly scale-up roundtable. On the 13th, we had Steve Dawson from Asia Market Entry, who shared some strategies for exporting into Southeast Asia. On the 20th, we were thrilled to have Andrea Reimer join us to present a workshop on addressing implicit bias and power. On the 25th of April, we had teachers, students, and parents join us for a deep dive into careers in tech. And we were joined by Josh Nielsen, Darian Kovacs, and Rob Goring. It was an amazing session. Uh, and finally, on the 27th of April, we had Rob May join us to share his insights on how to effectively scale a tech company. We record all of these events so that if you can't join us on the day, but you're curious about what some of these events might be, please do watch the recorded session, which we'll drop in the chat. And finally, if you could mark your calendar for our upcoming events, that would be great. On the 11th of May, 
Our What Works Growth session will explore marketing with purpose with guest speakers from our CMO, C Council. That's a very vibrant group. So people from Aspect Biosystems, Binary Stream, Jelly Marketing, Pro Shop ERP, and Thrive Health will be joining us for that. On the 18th of May, our What Works scale will focus on capital raising uh, with our series partner, BDC, who have been a great supporter, and a panel of speakers from Canalyst, Kits, Scalepad, and Smash and Test. On the 25th of May, our uh, What Works Growth series will be exploring business development strategies for growth with a fantastic panel of tech leaders moderated by Keith Cerny, formerly of Golf and Eyes, and now a partner at Fresh Founders. Thank <laughs> you.